This is uh, the motor out of a palm massager from the 60s. Anyways, I had to scrounge some brushes out of something. <laughs> You'll notice that they're, they're electrical taped in, but we'll see if it's going to work. Mm. That's the highest I can go, because it's not a, a 220 Variac. Yeah, okay, so apparently watching my videos on blowing motors isn't nearly as fun as, say, watching photonic inductions, and uh, that's probably where you should head on over. You'll, you'll find the link uh, down there someplace. In regards to the flagging issue, I would like to say that I have learned more about this stuff, about tinkering, about how it all works, heat sinks, and full wave bridges, and variax and stuff. I've learned more playing in the last few days. So sometimes, you know, you just got to encourage people, and you can't always be responsible for all of their safety. <laughs> it doesn't like that. Here is not a very good wire stripper. Come on, eat it, baby. <laughs> So what we're doing here is we're feeding this little tiny motor extra bits of wire because I think that every motor should have a little fiber in its diet. Oh, take it, baby. Oops. Got her! I got more. Ooh, an orange one. <laughs> that, that's 50 inches of wire inside the motor. Oh, she's not happy. Come on. You can do it. But that is almost 50 inches of wire that's been jammed inside that little motor.
Apparently, 50 inches of wire is, a, is about all this old girl can handle. Yeah. It's so hot I can barely touch it. But that's what I found on the inside. It's all cut up in the fan.